Baroness Abbott was an American photographer who was uh, born at the end of the 19th century. She began her career as a photographer in the 20s, moved to Europe, um, Germany, Berlin, and um, Paris, France. Uh, she wanted to be a sculptor, and um, because she needed a job, she took a job at Man Ray's studio, who had a studio at the time in Paris, a portrait studio and uh, started to be trained by Man Ray, both in the studio and in the darkroom. And um, after you know, being trained by Man Ray and basically running his studio, she decided to open her own studio. She was known as a portrait photographer in the 20s in Paris. She was quite famous. She was part of the, you know, this intellectual bohemian uh, milieu that you could find in Paris at the time. It's interesting because basically what happened is that she um, and Man Ray became competitors. Like, you know, he was not very happy with her opening her own studio um, because he had trained her. Um, and, and she had met people in his network through his studio. Um, but she was a very good photographer. So she moved back to New York, reopened a studio, and started to work on her main project. Uh, which is known as uh, Changing New York Project, which is a big documentation of, on the city of New York, which at the end of the 20s, beginning of the 30s, was changing dramatically. They were building the skyscrapers and there was a massive change in the architecture and urbanistic landscape, and she was interested in that, in documenting this. She managed to secure some fundings for uh, changing New York through the Museum of the City of New York, who acquired the whole archive that she produced at the time. It was a very important project for a single photographer. It's actually pretty unique in the history of photography. Being a woman was probably harder after when she came back to New York and uh, started to try to have connections with museum. I think that that's where it really became problematic is uh, the connections that the male photographers of her generation were able to have. But at the same time, she uh, you know, managed to secure that huge grant for Changing New York, which is this important project that she did on, on the city. Um, and that's, like I said, it's pretty unique in the history of photography. <music> So the collection came up on the market um, and it was acquired and then gifted to us. One of the reasons was our mandate is to collect archives and photography collections and we have this specific mandate about female archives that we give ourselves. It's not in the mandate per se, but we try to focus on female archives, so it was a good fit. <laughs> <laughs>